Wesley Reaver with the Glen Ralston Wildcats joining us down here at the uh, Coon Rapids Baird Invitational. Two out of three events in the books tonight. Let's start off with that shuttle hur hurdle, uh, your first event of the night. How'd you feel there? Uh, we could have ran it better. I thought each of us thought that we could have ran a little bit better. We were hitting some of the hurdles, but we got second, so that's good. Fourth was and Colton Fitzpatrick. Just have to work on it here in practice. Who all ran with you tonight? Uh, it was me, Ethan Muggenberg, Jason Grossman, and then uh, Sora Gibson. Okay, so as you were sitting there waiting for your turn, what was going through your mind? What were you seeing out of your teammates? Uh, I was seeing pretty good uh, runs. We were just missing some of our steps a little bit. How'd you feel on your steps? Off just a little? Yeah, I was off just a little bit on those. Part of that really not having a chance to probably get out and run them very much? Yeah, we don't we don't have a track, so it's a little hard to get out there and run them. What was, what was your time tonight? For a shoulder? Yeah. Uh, 114. 114. What was your split, do you know? Uh, 18, I think. 18. So are you a three-step or a four-step? step guy with the hurdles three step three step okay how do you like the three step I like the three steps just I have to work on getting it extended out a little bit more because sometimes I come up short on some hurdles where do you feel you can improve the most uh, getting low and getting over the hurdle right away mm -hmm. so that I can get further on okay Let's move on now to the second event of the night. Uh, I understand that uh, you normally run, and I know that, the two mile. Yeah. But uh, tonight you decided to, to kind of focus in on the mile here tonight. Uh, I had a guy kind of pushing you for a little while. Looked like you're maybe toying with him a little bit. Uh, talk about the mile and, and what your strategy was going in. Uh, my strategy was to keep with the other guy that was, we both had about a 5.15 time. So I was just going to keep with him and until about the last lap, and then I was going to try to get ahead of him. Did you feel like you did pretty good at that tonight? Yeah, I did feel pretty good at that because I got, came in with a 501, which is my best time. I was going to say, did you realize that the tempo was set uh, quite a bit faster tonight than I, what you'd done? I can, I could feel it, yeah, a little bit. That first and second lap, I could definitely feel it. Well, I know your teammates were yelling at you early on that that first lap means something. Is that kind of a strategy for you? Yeah, because uh, uh, Coach girl, Prescott uh, talked to me about getting a faster first lap time. Casey, and so I tried doing that tonight. Normally, I'm about 111, came in about 105. So... That, that certainly helped. How'd you feel on that second lap then? I was a little bit tired, but I just tried to keep, keep a good pace and stay right with that uh, other guy that was with me. Take it. Uh, take us through that last lap. What was going through your mind? That last lap, I passed uh, the Guthrie Center kid coming right around right at the finish line. So that on my final lap, I just tried striding out the entire thing. On the back stretch, I just tried to get as fast as I could, and then after the curve, I just sprinted out as hard as I could. Did you ever feel him gaining on you at all at that point, or did you know you had it? I know I had it at that point. After I had, when I had about 200 left, I, I maybe looked back a little bit and then noticed that he was back there a little ways. So how'd you keep pushing yourself down the stretch then? Because uh, the last 100, I always tried to sprint out and give it everything, and so I felt like this time I wanted to do it. I looked up at the clock and it was about 4:45 with the last 100 left, so I decided I wanted to try to get close to five. I know you want to get under five Riley this year. Best of luck with that, and best of luck coming up four by one yet. Correct? Yep. Best of luck, Wes. Thanks for joining us.